I hold this and I can probably just drag it. Okay, can't. Okay, we spawned here in front of the turret. Didn't even know this, but as you already can see, this is going to be a pretty, pretty big base. And here we're going to have a lot of and a lot of chests. And again, I'm not sure what kind of loot we're going to get. Yo, yo, guys, it is me, Happy Sarek. And today we are going to be playing Last on Earth Survival with a controller because as you can see, we can move up and down. All the settings here are already mapped. I can walk, I can switch my weapons, I can shoot and do all of the other stuff. And it's not really that easy. It is kind of complicated. So I'll try my best to not touch the mouse and keyboard today at all because as I said, playing here with a controller, it's pretty complicated. It's... Not 100% self-intuitive and I'm just gonna get lost because for those who don't know, I'm playing Last Center Survival here on a computer and I have the habit of playing it on a computer and playing it on a controller is really, really hard. So right now we will try to go and complete a couple of tasks. So for those who do not know, you can move the mouse touching this thingy. And for example, if I wanna click on something, I'm gonna click and it is gonna work. Also, another interesting thing that some of you might be interested to open my backpack boom and now i can drag my items using this secret technology i hold one button i click over here and i can just move my controller these sides and i'll be able to drag all the items here i don't know if anybody's even interested in that but that's basically how i set up the controller so i can even drive here with the controller thanks god the settings kind of mad <laughs> it's gonna be kind of weird okay i have no idea how to go back yeah there's no way i'll be able to get out of here without the oh no i could nice <laughs> so right now we're gonna try to do the farm because i need to deal with five savage giants and hopefully i'm not gonna die but i seriously yeah, like 50 percent or 60 percent sure that today we're gonna die at the farm because it is really not comfortable to play with a controller, especially switching weapons and etc. and etc. And if you would like to play a Last Earth Survival with a controller as well, I'm not really sure if you can play it on the mobile phone, but I do know that you can play it on the computer because all you have to do is just uh, connect your controller to a computer, then map your controller settings to a keyboard settings, and then that is going to work. If you want to use your PS4 controller, you will need to use this application. This is what I used. Basically, it just makes your computer think that your PS4 controller is your Xbox controller. If you have Xbox controller, go to Google and type Xbox controller to keyboard and that should probably work. And sadly for the phones, I'm not really sure if you could play Last and Earth Survival on a phone, but if you still do not even know how to play Last and Earth Survival on a computer, then you can use uh, Android emulators. Okay, which button I heal? Okay, this is gonna be the button that I heal. And uh, there are a lot of Android emulators, but the ones that I would suggest are either gonna be Nox or Bluestacks. I use Bluestacks and I guess that is pretty much it. How do I take all? Okay, take all is shift so that it's going to be okay, so I won't be able to take all as I don't have here mapped setting and I don't really think that I will need it so hopefully I explained here at least kind of right it's not really that hard because for those who don't know when you're playing on computer all of the settings that you can see on the screen are just mapped to keyboard let's say you want to go up and down you're just uh, mapping it to WASD and the same thing happens with the controller you just changed and you just make your computer think that this little joystick is going to be WASD and that's how it works it's really not complicated when you're gonna get those applications it's really pretty self-intuitive you'll be able to change it and uh yeah that's pretty much it that's just the whole deal and let's try not to die today here at the farm it is a bit more interesting kind of sad that i don't have a second camera here i would love to show how it looks like the controller camera I think that would be a bit more fun maybe next time. It's just that last time when we've done the video, I've seen some comments from people that they didn't even know that it's possible to play Last on Earth with a controller. So I thought that, hey, why not show that it's possible? And plus, we literally don't have nothing much to do here besides season two. So yeah, and there's no way I will be able to place my box i'll have to place it manually i don't have a quick key setup and again i didn't take here any spread shots so it is going to be a little bit hard okay let's drop the box let's go here to the top and let's deal here with rat and yokel it is pretty cool because okay you can see it's here we go in order to shoot i'm just pushing here the trigger and it is kind of cool I mean, I don't know, it's pretty interesting. It's definitely something more fun rather than playing it all the time with a keyboard, but I don't think I would ever play like unironically here with a controller because it is really hard unless Last Center Survival developers one day are gonna release like official patch or like whatever official uh, controller support or something. I don't even know if that's possible for them because I mean, at the end of the day, this is a mobile game and I do know that there are special controllers for android and blah 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 but i don't really think it would be cool to play last on earth survival all the time with a controller so in my opinion it's more of a gimmick but it is still kind of fun to try it out once or twice like if you have a, at home like xbox controller lying around or like a ps4 controller lying around and you would like to check it how it works then i think it would it's gonna be pretty fun for like once or twice to do yourself a challenge 
Okay, so now let's open a backpack. Let's take here a... Okay, this is how we're gonna drag it. Okay, dude, drag it over here. Nice. <laughs> it's not nice at all, but for those who didn't know, I've also played with the controller on one live stream probably a year ago, maybe over a year ago. It wasn't really that awesome, but hey, we played it already, so I thought that why not repeat it once again? Let's repeat the history. So hopefully season two is going to come out pretty, pretty soon because, yeah, and I cannot even use, wait, I will be able to use my special skills if I use the touchpad. Noise. Okay, so now we're gonna go and loot the house, and so far it's pretty interesting. You know what? It is, you just keep thinking more I cannot fo focus too much on talking because here right now I have to rethink everything that I am doing because I used to play Last Dinner Survival on a keyboard and when you're playing it on the phone, you don't really have to think here too much. And here basically every key press, everything, I have to think twice before what I'm doing. I don't know if it makes sense for you, but <laughs> it makes sense for me. Okay, can I double tap and take it? Yes, we can double tap. Oh no, the seventh giant. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is how we shoot. I am gonna die. This is probably gonna be my first death. Uh, the most important is for me to not forget how to heal and I I wouldn't be surprised if I totally forget it. Where is the sniper shot thingy? Okay, nice. Probably shouldn't have even done that, but hey. Okay, so now let's open up the door. Boom. Seriously, wish I had here a second camera, and this way I would be able to show you how we are doing all of this. I think that would be way, way more fun. Because for you, you probably don't see any difference besides just me being lost here and playing like a noob. I cannot even enter the door. Whatever, let's go. Let's loot here the shelf. Let's loot another shelf. This is going to be a closet, but whatever. So inside of the closet, we're going to get a crowbar and one green ticket. Not a big deal. So now let's open this up. And inside, we're going to get a little bit of jerky. Let's take this. Boom. And I cannot, I don't even have, a, again, a special key to eat. So I just have to do everything here with a touchpad. For those who do not know, like probably already know I showed this, but this touchpad works as a touchpad on a normal laptop. And this is going to be the Revenger. Okay, so let's try to deal, guys, with the Revenger. And we will see how that is going to go. And probably going to use here a sniper. Oh, no, I did the infected bull. Are you kidding me? I just aggroed the infected bull. And my weapons are going to break really, really soon. When these enemies are pretty easy, it's not really that hard. Should I? Should I use my mouse? I mean, it would be pretty easy. I'm just going to open up and change the thing. Okay, let's take it. Okay, drag it, drag it, exit, exit. Nice, nice, nice. It worked, it worked, it worked. Okay, let's try to deal, deal, deal with the Revenger. I'm just wasting my M16s. Probably should have used my Katana. Oh, next time I should probably... Wait, I will try to deal with Infected Bull and we'll try to use a Katana for the Revenger. I think that would be pretty fun to see if I will be able to deal... Oh, no, he started running. He started running because I went way too far away. So the key of fighting Revenger and for him not running too far away. Oh, my goodness, he spitted at me. That's what I thought. Okay, let's heal up and let's check out what he has. Okay, just 10 patches. Let's go. Let's try to craft something. I mean, it's just going to take forever. You don't even see the mouse. Probably I should be showing you the mouse, how it works. But I think that mouse is kind of distracting. So that's why you don't see any mouses here on the video. But we are playing on a computer. Well, I don't know. Hopefully, this video is somehow at least helpful for some of you. Let's take here this thingy. And, okay, there's going to be the raider. I have to go do the sniper shot. Oh, my goodness. That's way too many things. Okay, this is the wrong button to shoot. Okay, this is how we are going to shoot. Hopefully, my M16 isn't just going to break. Got to keep an eye on my health. Okay, got to heal up. Heal up, dude. Okay. For some reason, it didn't even... Oh, my goodness. It closed. Are you kidding me? This crashes all the time. What am I supposed to do? Well, we're back in the game. So, let's just jump inside and hopefully I'm not going to be shredded into tiny smithereens. So I'm just going to open that up. Going to bring here my M16. No, dude, bring it. I'm going to die because raiders are going to jump on me. Okay, so raiders are still not there and hopefully it's going to work out. Okay, where are the raiders? Raiders, 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 reveal yourself. I should have taken here a spread shot. I don't even have a lot of weapons. Look at this. I just have like two M16s and a katana. How am I going to open up that blue box? That is just beyond me. I seriously have no idea. Okay, there's going to be a raider. Let's deal with this bad boy. Did he have anything? Did he drop anything? Okay, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So just because I do not have that many weapons, I think that it will be pretty good to go and clear the farm beforehand before I place that blue box. Otherwise, that'll be a little bit sad. So what we're gonna do is try to deal with most of these diseased wolves. Okay, one diseased wolf, a second diseased wolf. Where is that sniper shot? Here, we're gonna use the sniper shot a little bit. And honestly, we are pretty much done. Let's deal just with one more savage giant. And I think that should be enough. We're just gonna go and place now the blue box. So you know what? It's pretty cool. Like shooting is kind of fun just because you get to press like this. 
trigger. Wait, can you like see it from the side? I mean, you just get to press the trigger and it's kind of fun. And myself, I don't really play a lot of games with a controller. Like probably the best game that I've ever played with controller was like Witcher 3. But even then I would probably prefer to play it uh, on a computer. Like controllers are kind of cool, but in my opinion, they limit your movement. Maybe if you're unless playing on a couch, like definitely if you're playing on a couch, obviously using controller is fine. But other than that, if you're playing on computer, I don't really see many reasons why would you not use a mouse, but hey, it's just my opinion. Why do I know? I do know that there are a lot of controller fans and a lot of console players that are going to be like Cyric playing with a, with a controller is really the best thing ever. And I'm not going to argue with this. If you like to play with a controller, then hey, props to you. And my M16 is definitely going to run out very soon. Okay, let's try to uh, use my sniper shot. Totally wasted the sniper shot. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's deal with this savage giant. Just like this now, we're going to open out the backpack and we're going to drag this thingy over here. Noise, noise, noise. It is probably such a weird video because you cannot see the controller. Like, how am I supposed to sit? If I'm going to sit here like this, I mean, is it going to be better? Like, if I hold my hands like that, I think that'll be a little bit more weird. But hey, welcome, welcome to Happy Sarks channel. Really professional setup here. Really professional YouTuber. Wait, let's try to place it just like this. You're not going to see my face right now, but hey, who cares about my face? Uh, we're just going to play. That's how you, the only, this is how you would be able to see the controller. Only if we we're going to play here like this. Okay, let's try to loot the choppa. I don't really know if that's uh, way more interesting, but oh, we got a gas tank. This is nice. Let's take a gas tank, double tap on this, double tap on this, 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 and probably we're going to take that. duct. Yeah, we should have taken everything. Let's take that. And now let's loot here the blue blue box. And inside of the blue box, we're going to get a machete and an M16. As you, if you've seen the video about my base, you see that we don't really have spaces for machetes. Let's take all of these items. Engine part. Let's read the diary. And uh, okay, so I also want to show you now when we are here, how would it is look like if I want to drag let's say this item I've selected I click on one secret button I hold this and I can probably just drag it okay can't can I okay wait 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 it doesn't really work okay it's out of the screen as you can see can it come back okay let's take it I'm gonna hold it and now we're just gonna drag it with the chair and I don't okay I can't here we go we dragged it I can use my finger here on the on the touchpad it works a little bit better but I don't know. Let's say if I want to bring these, I could probably just double tap them. But again, if I'm going to click the button, another button, just dragging it. And the rest, probably I'm just going to move with the finger. It didn't even work. Well, as you got the point, it's more of a gimmick, but it's kind of cool to take, like, let's say one item and start, like, dragging. Okay, just lagged again. Well, again, as I said, it's kind of a gimmick, but it's just kind of fun to shake your controller up and down and see this thing moving. And I don't know if you can do this on an Xbox controller. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But again, just something new in Last Day on Earth for those who didn't know. And it's obviously a little bit more interesting episode rather than just me simply speed running through everything. Cyrex trying out new things. How do I look like they're in the corner? You literally don't even see my face. <laughs> it looks so weird. Well, we are at Bunker Alpha and we have to destroy five turrets so we'll try to go and do the fourth floor here with the controller i think sitting like that on the very corner doesn't look really that good so we're gonna get back here to normal but i promise we're still using the controller i'm not using here the the keyboard okay so let's try to open up the green crate and now let's check can my dude walk here we go let's open up the orange crate and let's see what kind of things we're gonna get inside so inside of the green crate we're just gonna get an m16 with an engine part very nice and here we're gonna get an ak very beautiful. I wouldn't be surprised if the fourth floor wouldn't really go that well. Uh, can you go? Okay, here we go. And as I said, we have to go and deal with uh, five turrets. So hopefully I have enough items. I mean, using spread shots and other skills here. We're just gonna go like this without any special abilities here. Okay, let's deal with these floater bloaters. Very nice. And indeed, I took here my true friend Doggo. Just so that I would be able to open up those secret rooms. So Doggo, jump inside and show me what kind of thing is that we're gonna get inside. Okay, so inside one copper ore. Copper bar. I mean, better than nothing. Definitely better than nothing. So wait, I'll try to open that up. Boom. And let's try to somehow drag now the... Okay. Here we go. That's where we're gonna place the shotgun. This is how I switch the shotgun and that's how I'll be able to do the spread shot. Is that even gonna work? Yeah, that kind of did the spread shot. Let's switch it back and let's go. Well, well, well. We're getting better and better here with the controller. I'm pretty sure if I played here maybe for a couple of weeks or like for a few days in practice, I'm pretty sure I would get better here. I could map like more special settings like take all and take everything and it would be even 
Maybe I don't have shoes. Did I seriously just go here to this bunker alpha without shoes? Am I an idiot, guys? Am I an idiot? Totally 100% idiot. Well, I don't know how we're gonna survive here, but hey, let's try. Gonna eat the beans. Gonna take the nade, obviously. And now let's open this up. We gotta switch it to the shotgun and let's try to do the spread shot. Come to Papa, everybody. And we're just gonna click here on the spread shot. Kind of wasted it, but still probably better than nothing. Here we go. Let's do it now. I don't think I will be able to deal with the turret with my M16, so I'll try to take here a Glock and one more VSS. Okay, dude, drag it down. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's switch now to the VSS and uh, we're just gonna try to deal with this turret. Oh yeah, VSS does not miss, so I can just spam it now. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Turret didn't drop really anything that much. Useful couple of transistors and bolts, but I think we're gonna survive without them. Do not really want to clutter my inventory with that garbage for now, even though they're kind of useful to give to Jennifer. Again, gotta take another M16. Now let's take it. Can you double tap? Yep, let's do this. Let's put a mouse close to the sniper shot. Let's now do the sniper shot and let's deal with the rest of the numb zombies. Pretty beautiful and I'm low-key now here, professional. Uh, the professional esports player of Last on Earth Survival with a controller edition. Yes. That makes sense. Don't even question this. And also, guys, I forgot to say this, but smash that like button on the video. As I said, this is just a small reminder for those who keep forgetting. And your likes do support the videos. They motivate to make more stuff. So let's try to hit 3,000 likes. The last couple of videos, we couldn't do this, but maybe this video is going to be different. So once again, thank you for your support. <laughs> and let's keep playing. Okay, so we're just going to run through this place. Going to heal up. Going to open up the door. And please, turrets, do not destroy me. I'm not going to be wasting all of my armor and all of my weapon just on these turrets here. Well, here we go. Survived. Everything was calculated, guys. Don't worry. Everything is seriously calculated. Here we go. Survived that thing as well. Now we got to add some more uh, first aid kits. Yeah, we're going to use here a shotgun on those dudes. I think it will be good enough. Can you aggro on this other guy, please? On frozen bloater, for example. Here we go. Let's deal with the frozen bloater. Let's heal up. Now we're going to deal here with a numb zombie. Very nice. Going to heal up once again. Going to... Okay, it didn't even shoot me. Very nice. Okay, okay, that's getting more tough. We're gonna try to deal here with a Frenzy Giant. It's gonna definitely attack me like a few times. So maybe zero, yes, it still attacked me. But hey, I definitely expected more damage from the Frenzy Giant. And we're almost done here with the fourth floor. I wish developers seriously added more floors to Last on Earth Rival. Last on Earth Rival floors are awesome, even though kind of repetitive or whatever. But I want more bunkers in Last on Earth, and I think everybody would want them as well, because fourth floor whilst is a really good addition, but I do believe that a lot of players... With perf what the... Uh, what that turret is doing? How does it even see me? Okay, try to outrange my VSS now. Oh my goodness, can you drag it down? Here we go, let's do this. Let's take the VSS and I'm gonna try to deal with the turrets. How about that turret, huh? So inside of the chest, probably we're gonna get just some garbage. Well, well, aluminum bar, you know what? Some of you might call me crazy, but Zark, it's an aluminum bar. What? You're not gonna take aluminum bars? But truth to be told, we have so much aluminum at the base. Even on my free to play account, I think we have like over a stack of aluminum now because aluminum isn't really that rare as some people think. And I mean, I don't want to clutter my inventory <laughs> with aluminum. Okay, okay, we're going to take the aluminum because there are so many people who are just going to get triggered. Literally, just taking this aluminum for the for the triggered people right now. You can stop being triggered. We took the aluminum. Maybe going to delete it off the camera. Maybe no. Who knows what we are going to do? But I took it at least for now. Okay, so let's deal with another frenzy giant. Okay, open up the door. Let's deal with the bad boy over here. Okay, very nice. A red ticket, please. Yes, indeed. We got a red, red ticket. Let's get some food. Okay, now we're going to try to deal with all of these frozen bloaters and i don't know if i can literally do that quick shot that i usually do on my keyboard that you shoot once and you run away okay i'm totally naked now that is not cool at all are we gonna survive completely that is the biggest question okay so probably we're gonna survive if i'm gonna take good weapons so let's try to take another glock like you might call me crazy but glock is better than an m16 okay to drag it drag it Nice. I'm too lazy to go back and take a normal set. Okay, so basically every shot, boom, 30 damage, 30 damage. You healed up, opened that up. Here we go, kind of. Oh, probably Frenzy Giant is just going to one-shot me over here, isn't he? Yeah, 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 that's what's gonna happen. But hey, I'm not that dumb. We're gonna take now a shotgun. Here we go, boop. Let's switch the weapons up. How do I switch them? No, no, no. Okay, this is the key to switch them up. Now I'm gonna try to deal with this, with this, with this. 
we're gonna try to deal here with a frenzy giant gonna switch my weapon up and uh, we're gonna try to deal with frenzy giant just like this noise everything worked out didn't even have to go to the top to take a different set here and for you seriously the video might be totally simple the same but for me i'm literally my eyes are open uh, like this and i have to be focused so much just to control my character it's kind of a weird experience seriously wish i had a second camera here to show that it's a bit different but for me just fighting here is a bit more kind of interesting just because it's a novelty but i would still probably like i said prefer to play with the mouse and keyboard or just playing it on the phone rather than trying and doing all the shenanigans and playing it with a controller so now let's loot these two things and then we are gonna go for the raid and inside of this first crate we are gonna get three grenades dude that is awesome definitely let's take those can you please here go double tap on the grenades double tap on this tap Take it, take it, take it. Very nice. And now let's loot the last crate. And inside we're going to get an MGL maybe, but we cannot get it here, obviously. I know, I know. But it would be really awesome. Okay, so now let's go. Let's snap transition ourselves to the raid. So right now we're going to be raiding, but I am not going to be playing with the controller anymore because this is going to be a really, really, really big base and I do not want to mess it up. If I had maybe like a controller a camera here or something that you would be able to see that I'm actually using a controller, that would be a bit more fun because otherwise you don't really see much. Okay, we spawned here in front of the turret. Didn't even know this, but as you already can see, this is going to be a pretty, pretty big base and I do not really have to even waste my... Okay, where is the sneaking skill take the sneaking skill and we are just gonna sneak behind that turret okay can why can i okay i can punch the turret here with the sneaking attack it doing 18 damage very nice so yeah, as i said if i had second camera i would definitely use the controller here on this raid but otherwise it doesn't really make big of a difference i just wanted to show you that it's possible to play with the controller we had a little bit of fun and now let's go to the serious stuff and let's deal with this base i've done a little bit of research on it maybe like five minute research and this base is really really huge and and i don't know what kind of loot we're gonna get inside of all of the chests but i do know that i have to place my c for probably over here on this door and the rest we're gonna see so Baba the dog get out of there get out get out get out get out here go the wall is gonna just go boom and uh, as you will see inside here we are already gonna get here a lot of and a lot of chests and I have zero clue which what kind of loot we're gonna get inside of these chests so I don't know we're just gonna chop down the one over here and maybe I'll get something nice inside and inside we're just gonna get one of those I haven't seen a lot of people chopping those chests down so probably uh, we're not gonna get anything inside of those and this is probably going to be a pretty big base But I don't think you can get a lot of good stuff there. Okay, so I'll chop down one more wall over here Not sure if I'm going the right way. Okay, there are gonna be more chests inside Not sure if they have even any good loot from all I've seen most of the people who raided this base They just keep these chests and as you can see inside there's going to be one safe and here We're gonna have a lot of and a lot of chests and again, I'm not sure what kind of loot we're gonna get inside of those chests but i do know that you can chop down the wall over here and then you'll be able to troll the big one so maybe that's what we are gonna do now i will definitely not the couch dude chop this down every time i keep miss uh, misclicking okay let's deal with the web of zombies and now let's go take the weapons we already got here four guns kind of cool and inside of here there's gonna be a lot of and a lot of chests not sure again if they're gonna have any good loot but i do know that you will be able just to troll the big one from one corner to another corner if i'm not mistaken we cannot open up the safe obviously it's locked i'll try to chop down let's say uh, this chest over here are we gonna get anything inside of here and inside we're just gonna get a couple of stop signs a fully modified bow that's kind of garbage just for the sake of educating for those who have never seen this is how the fully modified bow looks like it looks really cool though like wish it was kind of useful but it is bad like it's so weird it's such a unique weapon it is really fun to use probably but it's just bad Okay, I'll try to chop down here this black chest, then we're gonna open up the green chest, and then we'll go to the fun saucy part, a trolling the big one, and inside we're gonna get... No, 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 not this, dude. Why did they put everything? Okay, so I did take a lot of rubber parts, because why not? Gonna chop down this thing, it probably web of zombies is going to spawn and inside of here. We're gonna get nothing. Probably could do more research and know what we're gonna get inside of these chests, but again, I don't wanna spend 30 minutes just checking out what we're gonna get inside of these chests. Because at the end of the day, this is a raid and it's fun to go and open up chests without knowing what you will get inside as well. You know what? I want to open up this one more white chest. Another zombie white. I thought I dealt with him. So now let's open up this white chest and maybe inside. Uh, okay, we're going to get a lot of cool stuff. That's for sure. Wow, all of these. Wow. Just wow, seriously, all I have to say is that seriously, that's a lot of these items. And you might say, well, sorry, just take them and recycle them. But truth to be told, you don't really get a lot of stuff from these heat sensors, even though they are kind of rare. Not kind of rare, they are really rare, but you don't really get a lot of cool stuff from them, even if you recycle them. I will maybe take like two, three extra stacks, but I'm not gonna take too much because I already have like two stacks of them at the base and I cannot really use them. I just use them as a bait for raiders. So I'm gonna take this, gonna chop down the last white chest. 
And then we're gonna get out of here because maybe we'll get something nice and inside we're gonna get a little bit of bolts, baby. This is heaven. We're gonna take transistors as I already have a lot of bolts at the base. And I believe that I should try to open up at least uh, one chest from over here because I don't think I will be able to open all of them up. So I'll try to open this. Wait, I'm gonna do like a couple of damage over here. Okay, three hits. All of these chests look so juicy. I'm gonna open up all of these three chests now. Gonna take the VSS and I still have a couple of hatchets. I don't have a lot of hatchets to open all of that up. Then I somehow I'll have to escape. But hey, we're gonna see. Let's open all of those like this. So inside of here, white paint. Let's take this. Here, mobile phones. And here, we're gonna get literally nothing, right? Okay, that's better than nothing. Another pink, obviously. And inside, more batteries. Could probably pick up batteries. As I said, batteries are pretty good. But hey, over here, we should be able to troll the big one, if I'm not mistaken. Because look at this, the big one comes. But now I'm coming to the side. Big one comes to another place. So now I'll try to open up here the red chest. We just had more hatchets. But from what I know, you don't really get here a lot of cool stuff. We're gonna deal here with this toxic bomb. Now I'm gonna hide over here. And I will start opening up the blue chest. Very nice. Nice, very cool and awesome raid. We're gonna get a little bit of this. Gonna start opening up another one over here. And I do have a couple of iron hatchets at the base. So what did I get inside of over here? A lot of meat, dude. We are gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Okay, gonna do it like two hits. One hit over here. The blind one comes to the side. And we're gonna start opening up another chest. This is such an awesome and amazing raid. Wish there were more raids like this. Couple of irons, not a big deal. And the big one keeps being faster and faster. Like, are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna open up now the blue chest here completely. And inside, we are gonna get just berry tea. Okay, not a big deal. The big one is already over here. And we're gonna start opening up another blue chest. And inside, just aluminum. Okay, maybe gonna take this. And inside of the white chest, we are gonna get just stones. Okay, gonna go back here to the top and we will open up now here this blue chest just got to be very careful because oh my tool is broken okay so we're probably gonna go now to inbox and we will take these iron hatchets because i do know that we have some iron hatchets from whatever thing where are they dude here we, go. we have a couple of iron hatchets my inventory is probably full okay at least we took two iron hatchets Definitely better than nothing. Let's get back here to the top and let's open up here the blue chest inside just some water the orange chest This is cool raid, guys if you're enjoying the raid so far smash a like and we gotta exit this place Okay, very nice the white chest just stones inside of over here what we are gonna get okay here We are gonna get just thick cloth kind of cool. Maybe we could pick it up though and uh, okay, I don't see anything else here that I haven't taken. Okay, there's one more chest over here that I'll try to open up. But the big one comes here. We're gonna open up the chest after. Now let's loot the yellow chest. And I think we are almost done with the raid of like, if you seriously ask me. Okay, some planks, beautiful. Look, the big one comes to me. Now we're gonna go to the other side and we will open up here the chest. A lot of turkey, probably. Gotta take it for the transistors. Sorry, transistors. And there is an electric generator that I wish I picked up, but I didn't. Okay, so inside of this yellow chest, some planks. And the last yellow chest inside of this base. And we are gonna get just oak planks. Okay. Now, I'll try to probably take some more turkey. Yeah, let's probably take some more turkey. But we already have a lot of turkey at the base. We're gonna take everything... We're gonna take a little bit of everything. That's what I'm trying to say here. Okay, if I go down, I'm gonna meet the, meet the big one over here, right? But I wanna open up these small chests as well. Okay, so the big one is over here. I will try to go and open out one more chest. Please do not break yet. And inside, we're gonna get just a lot, a lot of carrots. Cool. Not cool at all. Wish we got something else. Okay, gonna take one more hatchet from the inbox. Where are they? Here we go. Let's take one more hatchet. Nice. Okay, the big one is over here already. So we are just gonna go down and we will try to open up another chest. The big one is so quick. Sometimes he's just insanely quick. I don't understand why. I'm also gonna do like two hits to this chest over here. Why not? Okay, the big one is over there now. We are gonna go down and open up probably the last chest that I can before the big one comes and gets me. Open that up and inside. Okay, couldn't get it. Okay, so now the big one goes over there and I will loot here the chest and inside the generator. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Heal, heal, heal. Whoop, whoop. What the hell is that? How did that even happen? How did the dude hide his generator inside of the chest? That is beyond me. There's no way I'll be able to steal the generator. Okay, gonna let him hit me and now we can just go down and finally loot that chest. Maybe that was a trap. Yeah, probably that was a trap. And inside just berries. Ha, 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 so funny. Well, I think I'm gonna exit this place right now. Unless I will try to open up this chest here again. 
Okay, the big one is literally around the corner and inside we got nothing. So this raid gets Cyrix approval, probably like my top five or top three, the most fun raids that I've ever done. So I highly suggest you checking out this award unboxing video. Click on the second card and you will go to my LDOE base store. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also guys, drop that like button while we're at it and peace, peace, peace out. Mm -hmm. Yep.